Why fat people are dumb? <laughs> fat means you can't swim in the ocean because you'll sink. Dumb. Dumb. If you go on a safari and you get out of the car and you can't get back to the car and a lion's charging at you, you're slow. So you're saying you dumb. Are- we have to get two seats on an airplane for you because you're too fat. That's so dumb. <laughs> can't survive. Can't integrate within society. Clearly, if we build bigger buildings, bigger, more fat people than them, they will fucking fall down. We'll have 9-11 too and we're going to be a war in a country. <laughs> 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 nah, that's hectic shit. Fuck! <laughs> what are you drinking, man? AG1. Oh, yeah, one. Yeah, fuck yeah. It matches your suit. I Indeed. don't want to be anything other Put than... Put that away. What, what the okay. fuck? Sorry. Michael just held up a box set of One Tree Hill and we're not going to get into that. Welcome to episode <laughs> number three of the fully actual fucking podcast. Holy shit. James Lee's here. James Hello. Lee's first appearance for the season <laughs> and we've got our, our some, the segment you haven't seen yet, Bamboozled. We've got the lying segment. We've got the great debate. We'll be back. The voicemail segment. How famous are we? We've got prank calls. we got all sorts of shit but first let's talk some shit man oh fuck look Come at on, michael he's all fucking like mm, <laughs> he's 40 percent i'm at 40 percent my knee <laughs> hurt oh, my knee, hey. my oh. knee hurt it's what still happened? so swollen what happened to you on the weekend you got bamboozled <laughs> we had what's matt survived? doing but oh, what the fuck <laughs> Anyway, let's Should I continue. quickly swap seats and steal his microphone? Yeah. Have you seen this? Look at that. It's like budget cut. Oh, yeah, fuck. Budget cut. It's very Marty and Michael. Yeah, that's just i got to hold shite. it on. That's fucking shite. Yeah, look. I won golf. I got four under. Wait, like, so... Fucking you, hell, man. So, that's unbelievable. So where did you go? So we went down to Newcastle. We had Oh, that was in Newcastle? Yeah, we were in Newcastle, dude. <laughs> that's where we first did pingers that one time. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, yeah, <laughs> well, I didn't do them that time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because yeah, you were going to the army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we um, story. What did we do? We Okay, so we stayed at a property where the owners- Airbnb? Uh, yeah, Airbnb, but the owners uh, lived next to the property. Oh, no. Oh. And guess who came over at 12.30 oh, o'clock at John night? Farnham? John Farnham. <laughs> <laughs> it was John Farnham's wife, and she was- Pissed. Oh, really? You guys got into trouble? Hate, oh, yeah. She hated us. Because, like, she everyone, came over at 12.30 at night. Night time. Because it was so loud. It was echoing. Imagine. Oh, did like, she know it was a bus? Dude, and they're like so 100 cringe. meters away. Did she know it was a bus? I don't know. She wouldn't have. There was cars everywhere. So she would have been like, there is so many people and staying at my all house. All the prostitutes. You sent me so many photos of the prostitutes there. That was hectic <laughs> as shit, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. That one was dead, eh? She looked dead, bro, eh? The one you were standing over and teabagging her back. <laughs> oh, what was that one hanging from the roof? <laughs> yeah, foaming yeah, from the yeah, mouth. No. That was all. They self-inflicted that. We didn't do that. But <laughs> basically, yeah, she came over so, so cross with us. And everyone at this point was so fucked that I just went to the back room and just sat in there and I waited for it to be over. And, oh. and then, yeah, like they, Henry told me that, yeah, no one was able to talk to her properly and she was just like gave up and walked out. And then the gist of it was she wanted us to go inside because it was echoing to her house. Ten minutes later, guess who's everyone's out fucking side? Oh. <laughs> and then like, yeah, so I just sort of, I realised, fuck, I just felt like paranoid at that point that she's going to come over. So I was in bed by two on the first night. I was the first to sleep and then Henry was second. Henry and you were first and second to sleep. That's so sick. Unheard of. I know. Yeah. And then um, the second day we went and played golf. Did Henry do anything destructive or Henry? Henry, he well, yeah, I told you. Well, at golf, he had someone in his cart, Marcus. He's such a legend. Um, basically, we were driving. he was driving the cart. Henry was just driving so destructively that he turned the wheel at like as, as fast as it could go. And this dude fell out like three meters, just slid. <laughs> and like we all thought he was like injured. Dead. Yeah, but he was fine somehow. And then, yeah, basically we ended up winning golf and that was the highlight of the trip. That night, everyone sort of was just so Got fucked written the off. first night that, yeah, everyone was in bed, but why like fucking probably like three o'clock. Wow. And then and then so Michael's had the day off yesterday mm. or come back. The clean up yesterday. yesterday was so hard. <laughs> oh my god because so many people left early early that there was oh, like they got out of five it. people left to do the clean so imagine me and henry <laughs> so like and then three so other three dudes. people three. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. oh my god <laughs> yeah so there was three people doing the clean because me and oh, henry man. can't fucking clean yeah, so michael's a little worse for wear today <laughs> but, oh um, man 
But yeah, it's uh, it's 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 good fun bucks, aren't they, mate? <laughs> They're fun at the time, but yeah, they just yeah. you pay for it. You gotta pay for so it. So we've been um, uh, continuing our boxing training, and uh, Michael still can't train. He still can't train. We're like ten weeks out now, and it's uh, yeah, it's starting to get a bit. You got to see a specialist in two weeks. Yeah, my knee is still so. I reckon. Fat. I'm honestly thinking you got four or five more weeks before you can even start training again. So, look, I don't know what to do here, guys, because these these other two boys are taking it pretty seriously, and um, yeah, I've tried to get Rope Matt in as a replacement for Michael, but but Matt's got um he's got a sore elbow, and um it hurts when he breathes in deeply, <laughs> and he has trouble sleeping at night, and sometimes his foot gets sore when he um stands for too long. I got bad knee too. And bad knee too. So that AG1 will sort you out though. Mm. Surely. Kind of fucked. Maybe James? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not a good fighter, eh? Uh, yeah. Shut up. If it was no, wrestling. I'm not. Yeah, was... I wish I could grab a hold no, of him. Yeah, true. <laughs> pick him up. Yeah. Then maybe I'd go okay. But punching's hard. I'm too short and stumpy. <clears throat> So um, I, I'm going to have to call the organizers and just kind of let them know what's going on. But, yeah, like... Maybe they'll let both Michael and Matt because two halves make a hole. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, I Stick them together. We'll, we'll wear that <laughs> yeah, shirt yeah. that puts one per, two people yeah. in one shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, dislocating your knee is no joke. Like, yeah, it is dude. still fat <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> it still fucking hurts. Yeah, it's fucking just, hell. Still, we can't, I can't walk properly. Yeah, we I can't just, fucking film. We can't fucking do nothing. Man. Just fucking sitting down watching him fucking smoke bongs all day. <laughs> that was honestly the highlight of my holidays. Oh, I reckon man. seeing you do that. <laughs> man, it was beautiful to watch. Yeah. <laughs> seeing him dislocate his knee. Yeah, but more so the aftermath. Because the look on his face was just like, I thought like I was like going to die. Because <laughs> he was in performance so- mode. He was in full performance mode all night. And as soon as he hit the ground, he was just silent, which I thought was part of the act. Mm. I thought it was, you know, it was just Michael trying to be dramatic like he'd done this show. And then I looked at his face and he was just oh. like, just looking at his knee like this. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> this, and I was like, this is serious. It was yeah. the closest he's come to real life default face. Like yeah. real life default face. <laughs> his oh, knees right. was default face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, dude, oh, that just gave me a fucking funny story from the weekend. There was this loose cannon dude who we were all going around putting like YouTube song clips on and we all like, yeah, we'd, you know, just comment on it. And it was just sort of the part where you're all sort of like chilling out, sort of about to go to sleep. This one guy wouldn't let anyone put anything else on, but he'd just play like. Was it you? Imagine Abba, your dan- the Dancing Queen by Abba, but with dudes doing karate with no limbs. So it was Abba <laughs> Dancing Queen, and then there's people doing karate that are trying to fight each other with no limbs, and he just looks at it deadpan. The whole and like with like, is he fucking with us? Who the fuck is this guy, dude? He was he was like it was. I kind of like him for that. Yeah, but then it got like holy shit. I don't know if he's joking. Like he just actually enjoys it, and he just didn't didn't say a word and just kept. And we're like, dude, can we put something else on? And he just wouldn't. He just type something else in, and it'd be something similar to that every fucking time. Oh, it was different. Well, so they were like little. They were like that little inspirational speaker man with no arms and no legs. That, but they're doing karate, just torsos, trying to stump yeah, each like, other, flipping you do, around. How do you even gymnastics. know that they're doing karate if it's just a torso? I don't know. Like they're they're going. Like you see the sort of action, and they're dressed in karate outfits. It was so strange. Yeah, that's fucked. Um, that is fucked. So last, <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember if I spoke about this last episode, but I did go to the dentist. And um, I ended up getting a cap and man, it's, I'm not so scared of the dentist anymore. So if anyone else is freaking out because I haven't been for years, it wasn't that bad. The yeah. laughing gas is good. You feel like you're fucking hammered drunk and then just get them to inject twice the oh. amount of painkillers. They were still drilling on the nerve and it got up to about a six out of 10 pain, but that was the worst. And now I've got a hat on my tooth and now I've got to get the other one done and this nerve might be dead. So he was like, oh, it's touching guys 50, 50. This nerve might die soon, in which case we'll have to rip the tooth out. So um, it's it's not so bad. So to be clear, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And I've just come back from this. Um, I've, I've been talking about this, uh, the heart, the specialist I've been going to. It's not it, this um, lady, right? And the type of treatment I'm going down. Um, so I've just come back from her, just got some more results back. And um, I I don't even feel like talking about this until I have everything sorted and all of the information to give you guys. But um, look, I'm you're I'm, cured. Everyone's yeah, cured. Yeah, I, and I feel like save the world. Honestly, within like six months, I'm going to be completely fucking much lower anxiety, no heart shit, no high blood pressure, and just a better fucking dude. 
Yeah, well, it, it helps when you haven't got that hanging over your head. And this is all very new, this this kind of pathway of treatment. It's all quite new. So um, like I said, listen to the Joe Rogan, Gary Brecker uh, podcast. That'll give you some information. And then um, that's pretty much the kind of treatment that I'm doing. I don't want to say, oh, I'm on this and this because then everyone will start taking it. But it's different for everyone, mm-hmm. and it's but it's super effective. Like I've spent ten grand, I reckon, on fucking cardiologists, every single test under the fucking sun, and all they want to do is just give me a tablet for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And now I'm fucking nearly cured, and it's been two weeks. But anyway, more on that when I know more on that. Stay Let's, tuned. Um, some other good news too. We uh, have video on Spotify now. We yeah, do. Wow. wow. So fucking well, hello, Spotify. God, look, they finally can see us. Yeah, this there's will be probably, the first one. There's probably some people that who've, who've never seen our faces before who just hear our voices and now they're seeing this <laughs> here and they're like, this I'm not Michael. fucking watching anymore. <laughs> Your hair is longer than mine. <laughs> So, so since we got video now, now's a perfect time to give us a five star review on Spotify because this is a thing they're not rolling out to everyone. They've selected us the the the, the program we used to upload our podcasts, and they've selected us and they said, "Let's give it a go. Let's give let's give them a chance." So hopefully they don't listen to the podcast because they'll probably fucking take that away <laughs> if they do. Let's give them a fucking chance. Because remember the Spotify one's a little bit naughtier because we can get away with more. Well, I think I think now we're going to... There'll be terms and conditions. Uh, okay, yeah. sorry. Maybe I just said that. Um, but yeah, so fucking video on Spotify now, everyone. How, how, cr- how crazy is that? Huh? Yes. So a round of applause, everybody. And did you do anything on the fucking weekend? Tell them about the gold card. Um, Connor, can you cut until we come back? Um, I'm not talking about the gold card. <laughs> okay, oh, Brown, please. Card. I want to know about please the gold card. Please talk about the gold card, please, Brown. Oh, I, I just somebody sent me a price of what it sold for. Oh, how exciting. much? I was like 900 or something. Holy fuck, that's not See, bad. It's not bad at all. How but much is one pack of cards? Uh, it depends what you get. And I did On see average. a comment that someone wants to join your breaking group if you do it. Wow. Thank you. On average, what is the price of a thing of cards? I, I couldn't tell you. You can. You're, f- you're choosing not to. It'd be into the, hun- it'd be into the hundreds. I reckon 300. Probably, Actually, two cans. Probably. Not That's a good guess. Well, that How many cards that- is in a pack? Depends what you get. On average. They're all, they're all different. <laughs> Probably five. So it's $300 for five cards. You're You're gambling. You may as well go to the fucking pokies and put three hundred fucking dollars through it. Do fucking fifty dollars spins. But you might get like ten packs for three hundred. Fifty dollars spins. You might get right? like ten packs for three hundred dollars. He does do well in the pokies. He normally wins. Oh. Yeah, last he's, few times yeah. you've struggled he, a bit. He's he's coming down now yeah. off his luck wave. No, I um I sorry I didn't go with you guys, but I did win last time I played. <laughs> How much did you win? Just a hunji. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, I do. Have I wish s- we had a spreadsheet of everyone's gambling. Cause yeah, me too. I wish we Luke could be an interesting one because he either he either loses Big. quite a bit or wins massive. He, he won has, like nine hundred dollars the other day. I know. Yeah, he, he has coming told back me he's from had work. some losses though. Man, yeah, I, I, we'd all be well into the negative, surely. Um, yeah. I've got a story for you that Michael will enjoy. No, yes. here we fucking go. I saved it for you. Oh, this is dad shit. This, this is, is dad shit. Full Greg Smith. Is that so, your name, dad? Greg Brown. Brown. Oh, sorry. So Greg Brown rung me and he's like, oh, hey, just checking in, seeing how you are, just, you know, how things going. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. And I was like, I was trying to think, oh, shit, have we not spoken for a while? And I was like, oh, it hasn't been that long. And then I, re- I worked it out. He wanted to tell me something. Yeah, okay. And so he was playing Corinda. A golf course you've all played? Cool. Come on, I, I don't yeah. know, man. Yeah. I've gotten three hole in ones there at the pitch part. I don't know if you guys know that. Anyway. Anyway, he called me. He said he, um, he was playing and he got an eagle on a par four. Do you know what par four? Because I know this course. Tell me. Uh, oh, fuck. Asked. He did There's only one par four, isn't there? No, there's no, two there's or a three. Couple of things. But at Corinda, he uh, he hit an eagle on par four. There's one going one way and one coming back the what other way. What happens when that Dog happens? Right. I don't know. Is that two there's shots? There's three. There's actually three. Is that there's in- actually four. There's four fucking par fours. Do you get your name on some eagle board? No idea, but wow. I feel that was... Um, you got to find out what number. That's pretty hot. It's like, yeah, as a person who's also got I reckon an eagle, it was hole four. Because okay. if you hit that, if you hit that, if you brave it and hit through where the water is That's exactly and you I land thought. it on the ground, you've got a pretty good shot at the green. 
Yeah, he, James has birdied that one. He, and he did um, say everyone walked over and shook his hand. Yeah, that's oh. hot. Oh. Oh. That, that happened to me. Like, that happened ah. to me. You're on the fucking story. That then, happened man. to me on my eagle. <laughs> oh, anyway. really? People shook your yeah, hand. Yeah. Everyone so in my group, fun. all three men, two were strangers. What did they say? Congratulations. Yeah, well done, mate. Oh. Yeah. Are they serious? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, I've got it on video. You should hug them. Yeah, or, nah, I only just met him. I too, uh, too or grab their hand and st stick the ends of their fingers <laughs> in your mouth or some shit, bro. <laughs> 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 like, you only get eagles so you can do that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. That's hectic as shit. Oh, that's, um, that's caught on that hectic as shit, eh? Yeah. That's all we say. That's from Matt's Tinder. He started that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to say something. Everyone listen to him. So Raka Raka racked up yeah. at the um, Australian The Actor Awards. Awards. Yeah. yeah, so they should have. Yeah, man. So they should have. And our movie. boy Mike Goldman hosted the whole fucking night. Yeah, that's so oh, cool, fuck eh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's it, given yeah. us the green light to host the Survivor series on oh, the wait, website. Oh, wait, did you talk to him? <laughs> yep. So, oh, yeah. so Mike so Goldman hosts our podcast live show. Then he goes on to host the Actor Awards. So same level. That's same where we're at. We're we are we're at. Raka Raka, I think. Yeah, yeah, I did think that today. Yeah. I th I remember thinking that well, Michael, in the mirror. Martin, same name. Yeah. 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 Okay. Danny. Danny, yeah. Danny yeah. Marty, same name. But Danny, blonde hair. Danny, and I'm the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsors. <sighs> Hello, everyone. We'd like to tell you about an amazing product that we've come across. Sorry, I thought he was holding up a rather the incorrect. Uh, yeah, he's, they he's have many things. things. Manscaped has many, many. This things. is the only one we have um, handy. Yeah, they're right all up there. I can't reach them. Uh -huh. Look, Manscaped. Manscaped.com offer a range of male grooming products so great and unique that we are so shocked. I used it last night. Matt used it last night. You can use their new ball shaver. Okay, it's a five point oh, right? They've this is the fifth model of this. They've got another thing on it that stops you nicking your nut bag so you don't bleed out while you. F they got a light. So if you are a man or a woman, and you have thick, thick Italian hair, or just black dark hair, and you haven't really looked after yourself much and you kind of have some mental health issues, you're a bit overweight, and you sort of hate your life and your job's shit, you got friends but they don't really like you, you struggle with the opposite sex, go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off free in your pocket. There you go from us to you, bang, done. Go buy a ball shaver. You can get a, you can get, you can get all sorts of shit. Your nuts will never smell so bad. Smooth. I reckon we lie and say it's thirty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. A, a you get a special. Use our discount code fully actual twenty for fifty percent <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we get in Click the link in our lying? description. It doesn't matter, Matt. It doesn't matter. Just click the link in our description and just see for yourself. Fifty percent off. <laughs> you've been bamboozled. <laughs> it's for women too. So women, if you've got saggy breasts with fur under it and your, <laughs> your <laughs> sleeves all full of muck hair and you fucking drag. You drag when you walk. So just just go to Manscaped, men and woman. Yeah. There's one woman who watches this, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And nah. she is fucked. Nah, she's a good chick. Yeah. Anyway. It's Matt's mum. <laughs> Julie does not watch this. Okay, sorry. She could use a shaver, though. I'll check. All uh right. -huh. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, and of course. <laughs> oh yeah. Look. And look, Matt. You gotta is, mix it. Matt is going to lead us into our second sponsor. AG One. You gotta speak louder. Sorry, AG One. What about it? It puts a spark in my day. How's it do that? I go to work and I yell at people on the strength of AG One, knowing I've got the vitamins and they fucking don't. What's mm. in it? What fucking vitamins That's are in power. it? List That's them power. all. List 76? them all. Seventy-six. Seventy-five. Fuck. 
Let's lie and say 130. 159. <laughs> it's a new formula. 159. You take it. You cannot get sick and you cannot die. AG1, go to the link in our description. All right? Use our discount code fully actual for a free travel pack. All and right, it's a subscription. It it's a subscription. You sign up. It rocks up on your door every month on the day. And then you take just one powder every fucking day. They got a vitamin D dropper that fucks your shit up too. You cannot die. AG1. AG1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Also for women, it's for all genders. So yeah. men and women. For all genders, men and women. Yeah. <laughs> the only genders. Matthew Brown. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Too oh, my God. God. Sorry. Sorry. Too far. Oh, my God. Sorry. You piece of God, shit. Look at your sorry. hair. Sorry. You have breasts? <laughs> I feel like I'm Michael today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, those are our sponsors. All right, guys, we'll be, we're going we're, we're gonna to have a quick old... Bong break, and we'll be right back with the lying segment with Matt's dream diary, the great debate, and bamboozled bitch. Whoop. The break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. <laughs> this is the real shit. <laughs> back. Um, also, guys, we've been getting uh, a lot of calls on our podcast phone. The number 04666 We've been getting lots of voicemails. Sometimes we answer and sometimes we answer and then the people hang up because they don't expect someone to answer. Yeah. <laughs> so if this rings throughout the podcast, well, let's just answer it, bro. Yeah, that would be, I reckon. Well, that's a rule. If someone calls during the podcast, then oh, we answer. No, but, oh, yeah, all right then. <laughs> and um, what else? <laughs> Fucking it's hectic, oh. but eh? Lying segment. Yeah, yeah. Look, we let's let's get into. Do we, do we have a jingle for that? We do. We sure do. We lie to you and you're our friends. They don't trust, trust us. Oh, <laughs> there's a Mercedes Benz. Not. We lie to you <laughs> again and again. They don't trust us. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a Mercedes Benz. Not. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, right. um, what about, okay, so we got the lying segment, guys, and this is where we just call a friend of ours and then we just lie to them about something. I just had a scroll through texts and why don't we, why don't we call Paulie? <laughs> oh! Oh! Who is it? All right, so oh someone's calling our podcast That's phone exciting, right now, man. so let's just see what they have to say for themselves. Tell them they're a fish. Hello? Hello? Marty. Hello. Oh, hello. Yes. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? <laughs> What's your name? I can't believe he's answered us. Eh? Yeah, this, we've got this phone at all times. We answer everyone's call normally. Wait, I've listened to every single podcast. That's it four times. Eh? I love your podcast. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, come over. Mate. Well, come What's over. What's your name, dude? Yeah. Mark. Mark, what a legend. That's a good name. Good Live legend, on episode yeah, three of season Thank six. You, have you left any voicemails for us, Mark? I did, but they were just random ones, eh? Okay. Random ones, eh? <laughs> what about this? You could tell us a live story of your most fucked up bender story that gave you your worst injury ever. Oh, very specific. Yeah. Well, that's sort of what the topic was for um, this week, I think. Sort of. Make it up, Mark. Have you ever seen any, a, right. a, a dead person? I've seen a dead person. Okay, let's hear that. All right, so... When I was younger, me and my mates were riding our pushies, going to the shops, and um, <laughs> there was an old lady she was, like leaving the shops, walking home, and there was a, a drink driver. <laughs> a drink driver was like speeding and pretty much like hit her, going like seventy k's an hour. And you saw and, that. She went flying like meters in the air, and we seen her, and it was yeah, was she was like she, she spinning was, in the air? She she was doing flips, eh? Hey? She like like head over flips. feet, head over feet, continual flips. She in was the air. dead straight, dead straight, just spinning. It was so. Fun. Do you reckon she was dead in the air or dead when she hit the ground? Oh, I don't think an old lady can spin that many times that quick. Like she was oh. old, mate. Eh? And no. not be dead. 
So only dead old ladies can spin that quick. What distance would you say that she flew in the air? I'm just curious. <laughs> like, like she was like, like what, like oh, probably like four meters, four five meters. And how many com- how many complete rotation spins, do you reckon she did I in that time? Like five, five straight body flips. Okay, and you we, saw that? Yeah. Holy shit, man, that's hectic. Were you like spin that shit? Yeah. <laughs> Did you consider? I was so, young. It made my friend were, like traumatized. Yeah, I'll be fucked up. Did anyone soon, give her man. CPR? Was there anyone around that tried to save her? No, she like you, uh, you. I don't know how to explain it. There were there was like a nurse that was drove past, and yeah, we pretty much left after we seen how bad it was. Like. Wow, that's, there you a, go. that's a fucked up that story. Is, like, that, wow, yeah, dude. this has gotten dark. But mark his words. I know. I was, it's not really like yeah. No, it was good. No, I don't have any, like... Look, yeah. I'm no, pretty, it's like, different. good on the bender. Like, I don't get into it. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mark. Well, cheers for the call, man. And, um, yeah, let's just hope that you don't ever have to witness anything like that again, eh? And may she rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, Mark is a legend. But yeah, I did yeah. like Mark. That was, um, man, that's that fucked was up. sad, man. It's hard yeah. not to, like... As fucked as it sounds, it's hard not to laugh when you, he's describing that visual. He it, shouldn't have said the spinny bit. No, that just no, lost not me. only that, but she was dead straight the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So she's dead straight, spinning in the air. Quickly from the and motion. she only went four or five meters, which isn't very far. So imagine spinning five, five spins, times four. in only five, <laughs> five meters. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Yeah, the G, oh, the G so forces fun. alone would have ruptured her skull. Yeah, that would be. That's why she was straightened out. Well, let's just hope she died quickly and painlessly and mm. that that drink oh. driver is in jail for rest the rest of his peace. life, all right? Yeah. Now let's move on and lie to one of our friends. Hello. Hey, Paulie, what's going on, bro? Yeah, not too much, you? Oh, not too much. Um, we were just discussing, you know how we're hiring a boat um, end of March and all going out for the day? Yes. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to think of a way to, like, uh, make it, you know, a bit more fucked. And we want Your to service is uh, terrible. Oh, you can't hear me? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, so we're, we were thinking uh, we want to stitch one of the boys up. Um, and we were thinking maybe maybe um, Blake, Dim, and Austin. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the boat, like, a fair way out to sea. And then we're gonna, <laughs> and then we're gonna fucking, we're gonna sink it, and there's, only, <laughs> and we there's, there's we've we've already called we've already called a like a tow company and they can um as long as we as long as we can still uh connect like a chain to it they'll, they'll be able to drag it out, but we just want to scare the fuck out of them and we're gonna have just like enough life jackets for like four of us. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds perfect. I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I'm the caller. Yeah, well, we thought it would just be fucking funnier <laughs> to see, because because yeah, we we're trying to think who would be the weakest swimmers, and we thought Dim's all muscle, so he'd be a shit swimmer. Blakey doesn't look I like. I was he a can, great swimmer. Yeah, well, there you go. So we called the right guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, but yeah, so we, have, we haven't figured out how we're going to sink it yet, but yeah, so, but just keep that on the download. But yeah, we're probably going to sink the fucking thing. And um, yeah, oh. we'll just have to, we'll just have to, I don't know, swim back or something. Oh, true. What about us? Hang on a second. What about us? Yeah, well, we'll have the life jackets. So I think we'll be all right. Oh, so we're just stranded. <laughs> well, yeah, but, and we, we we also thought like we'll have someone on standby to come and get us in like a um, dinghy or something if like if shit gets fucked or if we get caught in a current or some shit. How far off are you thinking? Oh, like, I don't know. We said today we, we kind of looked it up from the area we're leaving from and we kind of want to – there's like an, an area like three kilometres out from the shore that that is like a little bit shallow that we can sink it at. Okay. Yeah. Can I touch the bottom? <laughs> no, no, no. You'd like it'll be touch fucking the- deep. <laughs> but just so we can try and get it out with like a uh, a tugboat or whatever they call it. I just got to out swim, Michael. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a dog. <laughs> he's a fuck. I'm just gonna start as soon as it goes down. I'm jumping straight in the water and I'm just swimming as far as I can straight away. 
And and if, oh. and like I said, if we get if we get if it starts to get hard, we'll just I'll just call. Um, we'll have someone on standby, and they'll just fucking swim out to us with a dinghy. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe they can come and pick me up straight away, and I can get some extra footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we fully lied to you. We're lying fully. You're on the podcast. I fucking Paul. love that Paulie was just in. He was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Three uh, kilometers uh, found it all. Found it so funny. <laughs> we would all die for sure. I was more concerned for my own safety <laughs> yeah. than the others. So you're going to need you to dude. pick me up. Oh, man. That's fucking Oh, hectic. fuck. Now you're going to make me sound like a little guy. I'm actually all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're all for it. Oh, That's wow. fucking great. But no, oh, it's, shit. it's just going to be a normal day. But um, who knows? The boat might sink if it's shit. Yeah. That'll be very that, that took a That took an extreme... <laughs> Um, <laughs> it, went, it went from like a chill day to like a fucking Titanic Fight for show. your life day. <laughs> oh, anyway, okay, anyway, sorry to waste your time, Paulie, but um, yeah, we'll fucking no. see. We'll see you on Thursday, eh? Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> no, <laughs> see you, Paulie. See you, dude. See ya, bye. <sighs> All right, guys. Now, um, it's time. Um, look, I'm going to... I don't have Matt's permission for this um, and oh. he's not happy about it, um, but I've managed to bring it in this week and um, look, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to read, I'm going to read something from the Brown dream diary today. Oh, Matt, don't it's just stop being nervous, dude. It's fine. It's a dream. Okay, I'm sure yeah, it doesn't mean anything or any hidden psychological. Yeah, sort but there's of a bunch of those. On. There's a bunch of those out there that that believe that dreams mean mean. Yeah, well, they might, and so it's probably good to just get it out there, and then if anyone knows, can kind of interpret what they mean, then great, right? Then you yeah, can. But finally- what if it interprets towards the negative for me? No, no, well, at no, least then you safe know. Safe space, man. It's so safe space. Yeah, safe space with you, but. It's like what if someone out there that's like having my a, dream having a is... lump on your arm and saying, "Oh, I don't want to go and check it because it might be something negative." Let's find out what that lump in your fucking brain is and let's fucking rip it out. Oh, is that like the lump in your stomach? Yeah, it's benign. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Imagine if I never got that checked. <laughs> Did you ever get it checked? Yeah, of course I got it checked <laughs> immediately. <laughs> it's a fat sack. <laughs> it's benign. <laughs> it's a lipoma. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So, Matt's dream diary. Everyone, here we go. If 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 these are shit and boring, look, we can. I, I don't have to read these every week. I just thought I'd read one, and we'll just see how we go. <clears throat> Dear dream diary, last night I dreamed. I don't know what to make of it, but it scared me. I was too embarrassed to share this with my girlfriend. I was at the cricket, sitting in a packed stadium by myself. I was surrounded by happy families. Mothers and fathers who were deeply in love, with well-behaved children happily watching the cricket in front of them. Everyone was happy, laughing, and bonding together. Except for me. I was drunk and full of confident defiance. I stood in my seat and raised my arms. Yeah! <laughs> and I sculled the beer in my right hand. Then I sculled the beer in my left hand. Then I crushed both the plastic cups at the same time and threw them forwards into the crowd in front of me. Yeah! I look around wildly with slurps of beer slinging from my beard. And all the families and their children desperately turned <laughs> and looked away to avoid eye contact with me. I was totally alone and I stood out massively, but I didn't care in the slightest. My body coarse with confidence and testosterone. My eyes bulged and my pupils were gigantic black balls. I was the lone wolf in that stadium and I didn't need anyone's help. <laughs> I laughed and helped myself to another beer. I leant back in my seat and faced the sky and let out an almighty belch. A belch so loud I had families 20 rows away to turning around to witness it. I make eye contact with a 10-year-old boy a few rows down from me. What the fuck are you looking at, bitch? The boy's mother grabs the boy and pulls him close to her. I stand and make myself look as intimidating as possible. I was fucking pissed. You think you're better than me, you bitch? I grab my scrotum and squeeze it with all my force. Then I stick my tongue out and go, People in the audience were terrified, and some people around me had even started to leave. I was unstoppable. I can 
continue to stand and scan <clears throat> scan the crowd to try and find someone to challenge me. Then I hear it. A clean crack of ball hitting wood. It echoed through the stadium and snapped my attention to the cricket. One of the players had absolutely crushed a shot. In fact, the ball was hit so purely that I barely had time to notice that it was screaming straight towards me. My eyes could barely track it. It was moving so quickly. Out of the thousands and thousands of people in the stadium, this ball is surely not coming directly at... Bang! The cricket ball explodes into my face, caving it inwardly. I felt my skull break apart like a chocolate Easter egg and my teeth shatter to pieces. My upper lip and nose were slammed deep into my skull and dragged my face with it. So deep was the impact that the ball came to rest halfway through my brain. The force of the hit snapped my head back so violently that my neck bones splintered. My body fell back into my seat, but somehow I was still conscious. My tongue lolled out from this huge hole in my face now and I started calling out to people. Hey, look at me! I can't be well. I could still see and looked around. People were still avoiding eye contact with me. They were all just talking amongst themselves, completely ignoring me. Hey, I can't be well. It's in my head. I could feel my life starting to slip away because of my injuries. Fuck! I can't be fucking well. This is my greatest ever achievement. My voice started to fade. I was nearly dead. It was in my final moments I realised that no matter how proud of yourself and your achievements you are, they are meaningless unless you have someone to share them with. With my final ounce of strength, I poured another beer into the hole in my face, <laughs> felt nothing but intense loneliness, and drifted away. Then I woke up and it was a wet dream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you call the ball oh. the cricket, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's glorious. Oh man, every boy's dream. Oh wow, that was beautiful. Yeah, I wonder what that means. Maybe you like, you know, you're doing well in life, but you still have that underlying fear of loneliness, and maybe you feel like you don't deserve a partner. Shut up. The aggression at the nerve. start was interesting. So aggressive. What do you think that was about? Screaming at people. I think that's got to do with just my work, my work, Brown. Uh, that's what you do at work. Out, yeah. yeah. That's what he does day to day at <laughs> I wholesome. stand yeah. up in the office and I scan the room and I look for someone to challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adam Gilchrist. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Gilchrist probably hit that ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's hectic as shit. All right, everybody, let's move on to the great debate. Hit it, Brown. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Here we fucking go. The great debate between mates. Oh. This is the great debate. <laughs> hate bait, hate late. Yeah, that's good. That rhyming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you in real life then. <laughs> All right, everyone. Oh, shit. This segment caused quite a stir in episode one, didn't it, Brown? Hey, you got a lot of death threats, didn't you, hey? Yeah. And so it's important to remember, guys, that the opinions shared in this segment are not actually our opinions. Michael and Matt are both just trying to win the debate. They don't actually think these things. So if you're easily offended, maybe skip on ahead yeah, and, we'll and get some whatever, fucking like tissues, win. bro. Because these boys are just trying to get a win on the board, all right? They're not trying to fucking hurt anyone's feelings. They want to make clear, concise points and practice their debating skills. And today's topic, motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, that's is very polite. Fat people are dumb. <laughs> one of you's got to be full David Goggins. In so there. one of them will be for that argument and one of them will be against that argument. Oh, fuck. They each have two minutes to make their opening argument. All right, to decide who is for the argument and who is against the argument, Michael will be spinning. Actually, I should probably spin it. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. I'm, like, mm -hmm. I'm leaving. So I should, I'm good it. with both ways. In this. So, <laughs> so whichever the point is closest to will be for the argument that fat people are dumb. Whoever is furthest away will be against the argument that fat people are dumb. Do you understand? And again, we are completely, I don't have an opinion on this, all right? I just thought it'd be an interesting topic to get some opinions on. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's closest to Matt. <laughs> Matt is for the argument. <laughs> Matt is for the argument. <laughs> 
I'm thankful that that wasn't me. That's he hard looks like a do. fucking but bully. I've, looks like a sour internet troll right now, and he's about to unleash <laughs> his opinions on the world. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Brown. You will have Let's two minutes once Wait, I start the timer. So pro is always first. Yeah. Is that how it goes? Yeah. That's what we yeah. decided. Okay. The affirmative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the affirmative. Exactly. Okay. I got to think of my argument. Here. Well, you can counter what he says because I'm sure Matt will have some great talking points on this. <laughs> Okay, I've got it. All right. Your two minutes, Matt, begins now. Oh, fucking hell. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Why fat people are dumb? (laughs) Fucking hell. (laughs) Come on, man. Time's a ticking, baby. Well, clearly being uh, fat. Can I use the word obese? I'm going to use the word obese. Being obese clearly puts you in a grave so much earlier than everyone else. Dumb. Fat <laughs> means you can't swim in the ocean because you'll sink. Dumb. I thought fat people could fly. Are they more No, buoyant? they're not. They sink because they're fucking heavy. Okay. All right. Idiot. <laughs> what else? Why else are they dumb? Because it makes them slow. Fat people, if you're too fat, you're too slow, too dumb. Yeah, dumb. but why does slow make them dumb? Why is it? Why is it dumb? If you go on a safari and you get out of the car and you can't get back to the car and a lion's charging at you, you're slow. So you're saying you dumb. are you are unable to protect yourself if you you're are fat. unable to protect yourself if you are quite a large person. If you're fat, that's what you're saying. Sorry, fat. Just to be clear. <laughs> okay. Okay. And and like you know you can't do things. You can't go into a, like small spaces. We have to get two seats on an airplane for you because you're too fat. That's so dumb. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay. Well, what about- and then this, you know, everyone else who gets on a treadmill and loses weight, you know, they pay for one seat, but you get an extra seat given to you because you're too large. Dumb. Okay. And what about like fat? Has that affect the? Does it affect the brain? What does fat get in the brain? Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. All right. Just trying to help. But I would think that science would say over time, eating all the shit that makes you large surely rots your brain. Okay. All right. I'm no scientist. Though. You got ten seconds. Any closing points or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping him to yourself. All right. Smart. All right. And time. All right. Some good points so there. All right. So, so Matt's hate saying hate. that um, you know, fat people are dumb because they, uh, it's it, they can't survive. Uh, can't they, survive. Can't you know integrate within society. This is still my time, is it? No. Oh, no. No. Stopped. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll reset and now Michael you have two minutes to rebut why fat people are not dumb okay that's your argument three two one begin Matthew you can't talk to me try and sell me this pen <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask him if in. so now look this is this is clearly you got a bit of paper catch this dumb now <laughs> that clearly shows as a skinny person, <laughs> that they can be quite stupid. I'm quite, that was quite dumb of me to call this. I didn't realize. I still think it's a pen. So <laughs> it shows. Wait, are you on my side? It shows you that dumb many people can be very stupid too. All people can be dumb. And I'm going to even fat say this. not dumb. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Like, think about it this way. If you look at something more, it has room for more. And more means high, big, more room for capacity of just knowledge, smartness, heaps of really cool big things so that are better. So you're saying the bigger you are, the more like opportunities you have because there's more of you. Opportunities to kill some this. kids at a park because you fell over. A small building <laughs> holds sm- uh, small people, which is shit and dumb. If you have a big building, there's more room for f- big people. They might be fat. They might be small. They, but more people. But I'm going to say that bigger people can be just as smart as skinny people. And as a person who just, as a skinny person who try, I just, I still think this is a pen that proves that skinny people can be quite dumb. Yeah, but it's why fat people are not dumb. Why well, are fat people look, are not dumb? Yeah, you dumb fuck. Nah, ah, sorry. Matt. Sorry. I will deduct a point, Matthew Brown. Sorry. <laughs> More, more is better. So that holds more brain power in their head. They have a fatter head. Their brains are bigger. Therefore, they're better and smarter. 
time. All right, I, I did give Michael an extra seven seconds then just because it's all right. there's a lot of talking going on. All right. Okay. So there you go. So his argument is that everyone is done. <laughs> and everyone should build bigger buildings for bigger fat people. Is that what we're <laughs> saying here? That, that, is that what we're fucking no, saying here? Fat people have bigger heads, therefore bigger brains, which makes them smarter probably. All right. So he's going on an assumption. All right. You have a minute and a half to rebut his arguments. Or let's go a minute. Let's go a minute. A minute. Just a, just a minute. Let's not yeah, go yeah, too let's, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. A Fucking minute. Fucking hell. All right. So Matt, fat pe- you think fat people are dumb. Here's your rebuttal. Go. All right. So clearly a fat person just said that. Now I'm going to take a line out of the film. All right. You're fat, but you're not, but you look as though you should be. So instead of you saying skinny people can be dumb too, I think you are fat. I'm very muscly. And you are very dumb. Sorry. Now, your point about buildings being bigger to support these people, clearly if we build bigger buildings, bigger, more fat people than them, they will fucking fall down. We'll have 9-11 too, and we're going to be a war in a country. And that is all caused by fat people. That's it's a, fucking I, dumb. I didn't see it like that. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's won. Okay. You got 20 seconds. And uh, bigger heads, bigger brains? Clearly not. I don't have anything to support that, but I feel deep in my soul that, that fat people are that dumb. Fat people. Are dumb. <laughs> so Matt's just said that he feels deep in oh. his soul that fat people are dumb. Also, also, I want to put one last thing to say. Time. Fuck. That's <laughs> <laughs> such a beautiful roast. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Final words on this. Here we go. We're going to get so much hate. Oh. Matt, everyone, just a reminder that we do not actually have these views, okay? Yeah. It's just Matt Brown. This whole. <laughs> All right. Your rebuttal <laughs> in three, two, one, go. Look, fat people to me are pretty fucking rad. PH fat. Hell yeah. Being rad doesn't mean you're smart, you dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Matthew Brown! Sorry. Matthew Brown! That is a point deduction! <laughs> Sorry, you can deduct all the points you want. Doesn't, doesn't mean he's I, right. You are this I, close to being disqualified I'd love today. I'm in it again and I'm about to cry. Um. Look. Continue, Mike. You have 45 seconds left. I'm so sorry about that. Look, if we're getting, I wanted to keep this scientific, but let's go talk from the soul in our hearts, like you said before. Rad to me is fucking smart. If you are rad, you are cool, which is fucking rad. <laughs> Therefore, people that are that are really smart to me in my heart. And that's sick and, and rad. You need to ask him more questions because they're, they're yeah, I'm trying to make fucking sense of, I'm trying to make sense of what he just said. So you're saying that, that, no that, fucking that, sense. that cool people are good because if they're cool to they're, you, well, that's smart. Well, fat people are rad because it's, smart it's, to be cool. it's pH fat. Too. Yeah, that's sounds they're, like yeah, that. they're, I didn't say they're not cool. And I said they're fucking up. dumb. Time! Jesus Christ, Matthew Brown. <laughs> you are fucking unbelievable today. How dare you disrespect the rules of the great debate. I may be unbelievable. We will not have this descend into chaos, whoa, Matt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another point deduction. Whoa. How whoa. dare you? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Two points. I didn't say anything. I can be unbelievable, but that doesn't mean I'm wrong. I'm not saying that. You need to okay. follow the rules of the debate. You might have the right argument, but it's about the debate. Look, I didn't know there were points. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> James and I will now deliberate <laughs> and decide who won, taking into account that Matt just fucking really fucked himself hard by not following the rules of the great debate. We are respectful scholars and we must, remain. must have order. And remain scientific. All you're doing is being a censor. All right. That is something you guys stand against. I don't think we're being censors because listen to the topics we're talking about. This is a taboo subject. Yeah. So, mm. and you never would have had a platform to voice this opinion. Uh, go out on the street and voice the things you just voiced. See what happens. Anyway, James, what do you reckon? I feel like Matt had better points and Michael's was mostly just incoherent rambling. <laughs> But Matt did lose two points. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Michael's needs to be followed by that speech. Is it the end of Billy Madison? You know, with that the debate. Well, the guys are dumber. Are yeah, what is he talking about? Yeah, yeah. he <laughs> needs to. We're all now dumber from hearing the what puppy who lost his way. <laughs> however, however, Matt did lose 
two points. I start, As soon as you said that, I started thinking like fight scoring. I was thinking like 10, 10 9 rounds. Yeah. I didn't even so, you know. We know so it would be a 10 9, 10 9, I think, but you just lost two points. So it's a fucking tie. Are you self sabotaging, you pussy? No, no, I, I, it's, it's a hard argument. Like, because it, it's all about brain. <laughs> And like it's everyone, to... it depends on everyone's brain. So there's so, dumb so fat people it's... and there's smart fat people. So you could have been like, or you could be like, yeah, but, but we're smart, we're big. We could, you know, we could replace weights at the so gym. We won't have to. I was take... like, I was doing some cool shit with like physical items. So and you're stuff. saying it's hard to argue the fact that fat people are not dumb. I would have loved some examples. I would have loved Matt uh, Michael to say, you know what, Elon Musk's not skinny. He isn't. But he's not yeah. fat. Well, I'd, I'd he's say he's fat. Out, he's a bit out of shape. No, maybe. I'd say he's fat. <laughs> no. We're not talking. The, the, the topic wasn't obese. Princess Diana. <laughs> Elon Musk is fat. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and you could have you could have brought up some um some fat people that are fucking dumb. Princess Diana. Yeah, you I know. Can't think of any. Who can, who's a really fat, dumb person? Well, according to Matt, everyone who's fat is dumb. <laughs> yeah. Um, Michael did give an example. He said something about buildings. Yeah, because you can hold more people in it. Oh, what yes. happens? Oh. More brains. Yeah, yeah, but but more, bu- more building break, more heavy. What happens if it's a draw? Uh, then they have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's a draw. Look, it's a, it's a boring, dull draw this week, boys. And maybe, maybe you'll learn from this and and learn to respect the rules. You of had the that great in the bag, Matt. Yeah, I don't really care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, you, I would have gone down the argument that like Jesus. Now knowing scientifically what we do know and what the choices we can make with our food and diet, you can take the win away from me. But we all know that I was right. Look, I tried my hardest, but I tried. But you're dumb. <laughs> I, I tried, tried my hardest, hardest but, but I, I tried. You're fat and you're dumb. <laughs> look, I tried my hardest. And it is, it's hard. I, I'm not a good debater. But look, I tried. Anyway, look, that's the great debate. <laughs> if you would like to see any uh, specific no. um, think topics for them to debate about, feel free to write uh, some suggestions mm. in the comments as well because we'll be reading all through the comments. So, bloody, drop a comment. Don't forget to give us a fucking thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button, bro. Fucking smash it, bro, so it smashes into, like, <laughs> four or five pieces and shit and comment and tell your friends about us and shit because, like, we don't really like get get any money from this. We're gonna get cancelled. Hmm. Maybe that could that could also be the case. So smash that subscribe button, everyone, because <laughs> we could get cancelled at any moment. So smash it. That'd be so awesome if you could do that. And a five star review on Spotify. Smash that um, review button. You press review, and then you it, the stars come up, and you scroll across, and then they smash that the the last star on it, the fifth star. The smash that but star. But not too hard. You don't want to break no, it. No, you don't want to break your screen, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, fuck me. <laughs> You, oh, are, you are out of control. This that was episode. a tough. That's that, a, that is that is a, that you you were disgusting. Why? Because I broke opinions, the rules. Your opinions, then, man. You wrote them, <laughs> and you yelled at the adjudicator. He deserved it. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. So you sour, sour, sour internet troll. That's what you're giving with your hair like that. Like in your glasses, he comes across as like someone who just sits at home for twenty packs of Doritos around. You fucking him. acted like CNN during that whole thing. Prince, CNN is a respectable <laughs> news agency, <laughs> and they've proven that, especially since 2020. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke, we've guys. Ever said. Don't forget to follow us on um, X as well, um, because yeah, X and YouTube. YouTube now is is coming good with the with the shit you can talk about. I'm really, it's nice. It's, mm. it, things are. But anyway, I'm not going to... Sorry. Shut up. All right, everybody. We're going to have a intense, hard, thick, fat bong break. Mm. Really pack it hard. Sprinkle ket. This ket. we got ket. Oh, we're going to mm. sprinkle in the bong. That's and we'll be thing. right back with um, Bamboozled, the voice uh, mail segment. How famous are we? And of course, um, a prank call. So oh. I'm excited for that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, see you shortly. The break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. real shit (laughs) no no not me no not again please 
I'm so confused. I can't see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! Yeah, 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 check it. I say you've been bamboozled, bitch! Not me, not me, not me. <laughs> and we are back with the first ever segment of Bamboozled and arguably our greatest jingle to any segment that we've ever recorded. It's pretty good, I must say. It's hectic as shit. So this is a segment where James has selected something that you guys will know about. Matt, this is between Matt, Michael, and I, all right? We are all going to be drinking from one straw each. One of them, one of us, will be drinking something fucked. <laughs> and the other two... The oh, other you're two, really going to have to put a Just let me there. explain it! Sorry. The other two... <laughs> God, you're a... We'll be drinking something normal, okay? And we all have to keep a straight face the whole time, and we have to guess who was bamboozled. And you, you guys know as well. I'll tell you the two liquids. Yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. we'll know yeah. we'll know what liquids we're about, but we don't know which one of us has the fucked liquid that we have to drink. Okay. So Will you tell us what the fuck one is? No. Yeah. This is the, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So James. Right? Yep, yep. Yeah, you'll know both. So- I love my friends. So I want, I want to look after you guys. I don't want, I don't Thank want you to be you. having shit that's unhealthy, right? So today on the menu, two of them is just AG1 and Puro water. Okay? Aww. Down with that. Lovely. The other one is also not unhealthy. It's AG1 and white vinegar. Oh, shit. Oh! So it's, I've it's had that up my very very Is white vinegar good for you? Yeah, it's fine. You can have it on a salad all the time. How much white vinegar did you put in this A considerable one? amount. And you need to finish your cup. Therein lies the comedy. <laughs> I'm fucking finishing that. Fuck. Is no, that, it's a don't even cup, think though. about it's it. Just too much. It'll be like it'll be like two full sucks of the, of the straw. But I would recommend, considering you're doing vinegar, if you have a sip of vinegar, Skull it. you need to get it down. Yeah. Because otherwise you're going to be like struggling for that mm. feeling. If you just get it down, you can be like, oh, that's quite intense and try and hide the... Hide the schnickons. Okay. Have you tested the straws in there like that? What do you mean? Have you tested the straws like the way they are now? Are you questioning my scientific? Matt? No, no, no. I just want to know if you have because I feel like there's a lot of sucking to do. With what I was saying before, <laughs> before Marty yelled at me. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it down. You'll get it down. I, we've like we've drank through straws way longer than that. Hell yeah. See. Have we? Yeah, yeah, in Las Vegas they have straws longer than that. Yeah, they put it in a fucking yard. Even they send those yard sticks in Vegas. Yeah, They're shaped in the letter C. It's a pole. It's like a pole. Anyway. That's from Matt's washing line. So Oh really? That's yeah. Why that's why I'm worried. No, anyway. no, trust me, I've cleaned them. I've rinsed them all with hot water. <laughs> and you've blown out to make sure nothing will go in yeah, our bodies. Promise okay, you. There, uh, there was the one that had spider in it. I threw it out and got another one. Okay. All right, so did you th clean that should one? Should we yeah. Should we all, all take it in turns to drink so the other two can observe? So why don't we do that? Okay. And I, I like the idea of you guys mixing up the one, two, three. It shouldn't always just be Michael, Marty, yeah, Matt. Okay. Because then it's like I can just choose who I want to fuck true. with that week. It's true. So you guys will know which one of these straws has the fucked ingredient. <laughs> okay, so now everyone knows which one the fucked straw is. We will now pick the order. All right, Matt, we, what, where would you like to go? First, second, or third? I yeah. Don't mind. Why do you choose me? Oh, we don't have to. Michael, where would you like to go? Second. Second? I'll go first. Oh, firsty. First, okay. firsty. I'll go third then, eh? <laughs> All right, Brown's up. Here we go. Dude, Remember, Brown, so you hard. must keep a straight face. How are you going to watch? You go left a Kalani, like a lily. I'm just going to look like this. I'm going to look like this, and then I, I can watch. But, uh, oh. Hang on. Oh, I'll just go from where I because if I go from over there, you can pick whichever straw, you be able right? To see me. You can pick whichever straw you want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're picking the order, the order. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, cool. So you can choose one, two, or three. And we'll try and face it this you way. You get to go first to the main. Camera. Lucky boy. The one's involved on it. There you go. It's easier for you to turn to. <laughs> can the others bluff? What happens? What happens if Matt like Fuck, drinks? I can smell something. the vinegar. What yeah, happens so if he drinks know. something delicious and he's like, he like, makes a face? Yeah, true. You know? Yeah. Look, yeah, if gonna, this if I, this is a shit segment, guys, let yeah. us know as well. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Let's just see what happens. I, I say we all try and keep a straight face. Let's just all do our best. To yeah, keep a straight you got to. I don't know. I don't know which one it is now. 
Okay. Three, two, one. Suck like you want a promotion. You were sucking the... You pushed it so hard into the cup that you couldn't get any liquid. Don't get it all. <clears throat> yep. Fuck me, this is hard. Look Fuck. at Matt's face. Don't sniff the straws, you're not allowed. Okay. I'm just going to go to the one that I believe. <laughs> Dad, man, I can just—I feel like no, just do just it. Just lift you it up, lift it. it up the tiniest bit, like tiny bit, and then drink. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Oh, I wish I could have seen his face because he's looking at me. Okay, uh, how was that? <laughs> I like to keep my clouds, <laughs> cards close. My clouds, <laughs> my clouds, <laughs> cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I guess then this oh shit, maybe. baby. Oh, this is hard, man. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I reckon we do a three, two, one, and then you say the name. Or you just point. Okay. Fuck. Three, two, one. Wow, we've all picked. I picked <laughs> oh my Matt. God. Matt's it's picked Marty. <laughs> Marty's picked me. Okay, we are. It was me. <laughs> it was Marty. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, Marty, yeah. no, fuck, that was impressive, dude. Oh, my oh, God. Dude. So oh. well. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a that lot of so vinegar too. Fuck, man. Oh, man. my God. Oh, man. Uh, Matt picked it, so Michael loses. Fuck that, eh? <laughs> How do you drink out of this? It's a straw. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that vinegar in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish it was. It's Everything one. tastes like vinegar now. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so as the loser, Michael now has to get on his hands and knees and beg for forgiveness. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'll give it a go. It feels like it needs something. <laughs> but be like... Don't don't ask for forgiveness from us. You ask for forgiveness from the rings. <laughs> oh, man. They're the ones you let down. Dude, I can't fucking. That is so intense. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, vinegar so is a bit much. Me. How much vinegar did you put in? A lot. Oh, how much? Like a cup? <laughs> like, like no, hurt, not a you cup. You could hurt us. Like, as I put as much as I put water for them, so it was like that much of a wine glass. Please give me forgiveness. <laughs> Please. <sighs> <laughs> All right, everyone, let us know what you thought of that segment. And if you want us to discontinue it, we ain't stopping. Although, but, just, just know. We're it every week. <laughs> just <laughs> know, too, I like, it's not always going oh. to be eating and drinking. It is going to also be touching things. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so. I got know. some fucked up ideas in the list. There's a tarantula in the house. I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> oh, well, we can't not do it because that fucking jingle is the greatest thing in it the world. It is a beautiful jingle. <sighs> um, also, like, I can't wait for the hot sauce day because that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, hmm. fuck, man, that is so rank. We smell, here we come. Michael was bamboozled. So was Marty, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, you were, so, were both bamboozled a bit. <laughs> no, That's I knew, sick. I knew. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. Begin with your ring! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, that's my favourite. Uh, this is a segment, guys, where we give you guys a topic and you call in and leave your voicemails, leave your texts. Sometimes we answer to the number <laughs> 04666. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> that should be good. So, should we do it one more time? <laughs> Listen to that once more. That is so fucking gross. Uh, yeah, we felt, <laughs> we felt gross when it was done. Oh, just, shit. So Jamaican. Okay, so... <laughs> oh. in, uh, in the first episode, we asked for people to send in their stories of their bender injuries. Okay? That's what we're going to play now. And then um, we'll, fucking, um, we'll fucking give you a new topic to speak about after. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, let's play some of these. Hey, boys, 
So my name's Christian. I've been listening since like episode one of the podcast, a very fucking long time. I've got a story here. Don't necessarily know if the cunt was drunk or hung over the next day, but he was at work. I'm an electrician. He's an electrician. And he was trying to pick a little switch out of a plate um, that normally goes on a wall. And he's prying and prying, and the cunt was, he was a weird man, eh? He's prying and prying, and he managed to somehow pop the switch off of the plate and shove the fucking screwdriver into his fucking nostril. Oh. Into his fucking snout. Oh, gross. Oh. I was talking like a little flat blade screwdriver, sharp as all fuck, like straight into his nose. Into his nose? The, the, the fuck, man. It's got in fuck. his head. Oh. But, yeah, I don't know if the was you know, necessarily drunk, but he was definitely hung over from up before. Um, but, yeah, the fuck. <laughs> That's a fuck. Wow. Oh, you, Chris. So he's like this, like trying yeah, to jam it, and he's straight. pushing back. Doors and put the metal part up oh. his nostril. Mm. Oh. oh, thank you, Kristen. Oh. Mm. All right, let's move on to another. Oh, that's rough. Uh, just calling. Uh, this is an emergency contact for uh, Matt Brown. This is a fake prank call. Um, we're going to need someone to come pick him up. Uh, he's been caught. Um, Actually, at the concrete pump, pumping concrete up his ass. I don't work with pumping with con- concrete pumps, so... Yeah. Wild. I'm not too sure what's going on exactly, but uh, if one of you guys can get down here ASAP... Oh, my God. I'll go. All right. We all know that's fake. One, John Terry is a soccer player who played for Chelsea. Two, I don't work with concrete pumps. I send the concrete to the pumps. Sort of, maybe. I don't know. I'm in an office. Yeah, the um, whole thing's a lie. Sorry. So, text from an unknown number. <clears throat> Bender accident. Blacked out from a three-day bender on Xanax and speed. Woke up in the hospital and got told I'd been hit by a train. <laughs> Only had bruise in the size of my whole thigh, so I signed myself out and got back on the bender, eating all my endones and more Xanax and speed. Anonymous, please. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous, please. No, no little hidden details, no context, just got hit, got by, hit by a train. A train. <laughs> Dude, that's I got back on it. That is, like, that's like Dude, we should put out, imagine high-fiving a train. Would that rip your arm? You'd off? fucking break uh, uh, an ankle. I disagree. <laughs> what is it? Wrist. You break a wrist. Just yeah. If you go with it. Yeah, but like, yeah, uh, as long f- as it f- hits a train your fingertips, at full speed. it gets your palm, you'd snap something. A train at full speed. Yeah, you'd probably fucking be do hand fuck. You'd probably lose a hand. Yeah, fuck. All right, so um, those 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 are the those are the uh, Bender stories. So I'm maybe sorry. maybe we just need to think of some more. Um, was that all there was? Uh, that's, uh, that's all I saw. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a better way to organize them. I think. Um, <clears throat> Should we just delete, delete, yeah, delete, and then of, done? Lots of messages, just random. Yeah. Shit. yeah, yeah, lots of um, funny voicemails and messages. So keep them coming, guys. Um, so, and remember, we are two weeks. Ahead, so if you suggest something now, it won't be played until two weeks' time, like in two episodes' time. Okay, what did we say to everyone last week? I don't remember. The topic need to write that on the board for this mm. week that we want people to call in and tell us your stories. How you you lost your virginity? I want to hear all about it. I want to hear. <laughs> I want to hear what happened. I want to hear if you were shit. If you sprinkled your mints before the time had elapsed. Yeah, well, maybe it's going to be too... And try and keep it coded because if it's too... If you use the sex words too much, we'll have to censor it. Oh, it's just a story. So just have like maybe use mints and those sort of code words. How was your virginity losses? Oh, man. I haven't lost mine. (laughs) Mine was, yeah, shit. Yeah, it's always disappointing normally. (laughs) Oh, really? No, mine was beautiful. Well, I picked up on a night out and Henry peer pressured me to... <laughs> but it's good. I, ne- I needed it. Is that the one where you, you couldn't get out of the house? Yeah, so I, as I entered the house, <laughs> Dude, I, I left that story. all the doors slightly ajar. <laughs> and then as soon as she fell asleep, I legged it out of the house. <laughs> and then we had coaching the next morning. Yeah, the you doors were open. broke. He was so fucked. He said, I, it was literally air swinging. Yeah, the children were, were like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. He's just sick. He's got the flu. He's going to the <laughs> like Drained of his nutrients. Yeah. Oh, man. Was yours nice? 
Uh, nice girl, very pretty, but no. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell I was I doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no one, I don't think anyone knows what, what about doing. you. Sure, you knew what you were doing, bro. I was in Palm Beach. Beach. It expert. was in Palm Beach. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? In an abandoned hotel. No, it wasn't quite built yet. <laughs> nah. Oh, that's part of the story, but it wasn't in the hotel. Oh, yeah, Go you on, pointed Matt, it out to me once. On. Let's hear nah, it. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. You guys didn't get in. Come on, it. man. I was just with uh, my first ever girlfriend. Imagine if he's there with my first cousin. <laughs> 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 what was it? No. Um, yeah, no, it was just with my first girlfriend and we um, took dunas or, or blankets down to the beach and yeah, on Palm Beach. How old were you? You were only a young pup still, eh? I think I was 15. Oh, man, that's a little brown. You were it's a child. Illegal. You were I mean, a child. How old was the girl? 15. So you had sex with a child? It's fully. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, it's you illegal when you're a child. Sex with a child? Oh, my. Lost it. No. Oh. oh. Do you shit then? <laughs> oh, I think I was about to faint. That sounded like an emotion. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking hurt. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's move on from those stories. So, yeah, call the number 04666 and tell us your how you lost your virginity and um, send us pictures of your <laughs> 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 Let's see how many <laughs> pics we can get. Don't worry, we're not going to show any of them, but I just want to see how many <laughs> we get. <laughs> send them through. Come on. Hard, <laughs> soft, fucked, ripped up, torn, shredded up, Oh, send it through it. So you're gonna have to it. bleep all that too. I just realized. Yeah, send it <laughs> through to the number one. It's all through it. So when we show it to our wives, they think it's weird. <laughs> send your Richards. We can say that. What's sure for Richard? Send that. Now nah, send your. <laughs> 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 all right, let's move along and find out just how famous are we. Fame, fame, I want fame. What's my name? It's not a game. What's my name? It's not a game. I need fame. It's good too. Yeah. All right, guys. So, is that loud for you? No, it was actually quite quiet. Yeah. Pleasant. Subtle. A subtle little flong. <sighs> All right, guys. So as you know, we are testing every week. We go up in celebrity and we message someone. And if we get a reply, that means we are equal to that celebrity and we move on to the next. Last <laughs> week... <laughs> We dared message one of Australia's most well-known comedians, Dave Husey Hughes. All right. Now let's see if he has replied. Did he reply? (laughs) All right. So we messaged him last week during the podcast and we said, Husey, quick question. Got a bit of an opportunity. Where are you based? (laughs) To get a reply. And not two hours later (laughs) did we get a reply. Melbourne right now, often in Sydney. What's up? You've been bamboozled. So poor, <laughs> equal to us. Now, Michael was cringing a lot and we're like, fuck, we need to make something up now. So I went ahead and did that. Michael? Sorry. You're broken. So he said, what's up? So I said, okay, no worries. There's a large YouTuber series being made and potentially filmed in Brisbane later this year. Over 100 million subscribers collectively between the contestants. They're looking for an Aussie comedian to host and we got asked if we had any suggestions. You came to mind. Totally fine if it's not your thing though. So I'm trying to like throw him off the track a bit. But he replies again and says, I'm interested. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell. (laughs) So what do we do now? So... So Maybe I we replied again. Create I re- that event. We're alive. Yeah, we might have Hughes. to do that event. Or I replied again and just said, "Too easy, mate. I'll keep you posted." So, all right, I think that we just kind of wait a bit and then we say, "Oh, hey, kind of, it fell through," and then done. Well, and then people clip this, send it to him. Nah, 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 nah. No, people, people would never do that. Stop Dave, being ridiculous. Dave Hughes, we apologize. Oh, they're they're not going to add and include. I that. reckon we create this event now so we can do it. Yeah, so we can I'll get out of that it tomorrow. He's eating in the morning. <laughs> he thinks he it's works so at radio, doesn't he? No, uh, he's still on TV. Uh, oh yeah, but but like he's he's busy. He's yeah, not, yeah. He's not gonna he's not gonna stress about. He'll that. understand. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. He's yeah. he's doing well. I don't think we need to worry. And you know, it was only over the course of half a day that we got his hopes up a bit. 
I've, yeah, I've got a theory about Dave Hughes. I think he is a fan of Marty and Michael because he always replies. He's interested. Well, he's our father. He's not he shy. did send us a video saying. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to put it out there. I reckon he's very interested in you too. Hmm. He's our father. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's. Who shall we? Who, who is a step above Dave oh, Hughes' above fame? There. That's hectic. Peter Sterling. <laughs> is he above Dave Hughes? I don't know. Oh, is that that football guy? <laughs> yeah. Parramatta Eels. I don't think it. No, I don't. I don't think he'd be very active on oh, Instagram. Oh, yeah, he's not. He's not. Yeah, the he doesn't even ones come are a bit hard. Look, we, 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 we could message one of our influencer, uh, another influencer, or we could go down like the kind of mainstream, like on TV, corn that day. Uh, what about um, Carl, Carl Stepanovich? It's not bad. Is, is he bigger what about, than Dave? Yeah, what about, so, so, yeah. Or what about Carl Stepanovich? That's too I big. I feel like Carl Sandler's is another step up. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah. So, right, so we're going to Carl Stefanovic now. Is is there somewhere in between Dave and Carl though? Carl's pretty big. He's, Carl on, every, big. he's on every morning. I like yeah. Carl. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just I'm scared we're going too big too fast because Carl's definitely big. Maybe we go like what about like let's what let's think maybe we got to include women too. Michael? Like <laughs> okay, sorry. Fucking hell. <laughs> no. Okay. That's dumb. That's so, dumb. <laughs> oh, what about Jessica Malboy if we're going a, a woman? I feel like she's a level above Dave okay. Hughes. Well, yeah, she did Look, win Australian good. Idol. Did and she's probably not bigger than Carl. Guy Sebastian. No. He's no. bigger. He, yeah, Guy's big. Yeah, yeah. Now, surely he's international. So maybe we go Jessica how, Malboy, how then Guy Malboy? Sebastian. M-A-U-B-O-Y. So she is a musician. A artist for those overseas that don't know M-A-U-B-A-B-O-Y, right? Malboy, M A U. Ah, uh, yeah, yep, yep, got it, got it, got it. I don't know. All right, let's see here. Oh, follow back. No, nah, just kidding. She doesn't follow us. <laughs> All right, so first I will follow her. Now we follow Jessica Malboy, and now we must construct the message that she will reply to. Mm. Hey Jess, what about this? Why don't we? Okay, hear me out. We throw a hail mary. We'll be like, Hey Jess, just spoke to, and we say a name, and then we we hope that there's someone in her life. Like, mm. like everyone knows, everyone knows a. We um, just spoke to Ricky Lee, maybe because she's fucking. They just probably spoke know each other. Just spoke to Ricky. Yeah, hundred percent. They would just spoke to Ricky Lee. Um, she told us the sickest story about you. Like you're a mad. <laughs> I'm thinking you're like someone in her management. Cup. Like what about um like surely everyone knows a fucking um what's her super common G- uh, Jess. Everyone there is not anyone. Her name's Jess though. Oh, oh yeah, true. true. <laughs> I forgot oh, about that. Are you, gonna, are you Jess, trying to use a name? Are you just trying to throw any yeah, name? Out? Yeah, any name. Go to her Instagram, see who she follows, and just pick a name. Mm, okay, yep. And just say the first name. Mm. So I said, oh. "Hey Jess, got a bit of an opportunity. Oh my god, who is best to talk to within your management? Loving your new tunes, by the way. <laughs> oh. Send. Oh, that's yeah. very good. It is now sent. Okay, all right. Now, um, well, let me just. Oh, send. she's gonna have the follow notification followed by the message as well. Your yeah. time is there for, for us to waste. Picking, picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha! It's prank call time. And this week, <laughs> very good, Margaret. It's her son's Bront's fourteenth birthday, oh, yes. and she would like a space to host a birthday party for him but the problem is him and his friends are all heavily autistic well, yeah well yeah like we <laughs> so all are so is she dude so is she <laughs> wait yeah. is this fucked is this too fucked hi this is Petra from speaking how can I help you today um hello Petra my name's uh, Margaret look I'm just after um a booking for my son um it's his birthday coming up um towards the end of the month um, and I was just wondering, he, he's interested in um, bringing his friends. He's been to the <laughs> before and he just yeah. absolutely loved it. He came home raving about it. He, t- he told me and his oh, father all about it. I had, abs- had an absolute bore. Um, and, and I haven't been able to get him to uh, talk about anything else, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was just wondering um, if he comes along with, with a few friends, um, is, it, is this something we need to book in for or...? Okay. Um, um, th- there would yeah. be um, just another thing. Um, there would be um, a few of them. So um, he's okay. he's got, he's got a few friends. So um, j- just to be uh, quite quite uh, transparent with you, he has okay. um, a few uh, l- learning uh, 
difficulties, and uh, so, yeah. so, do, so do a lot of his friends. Um, so, so they're on the slower side, um, and uh, you know some of their behaviours can be um, kind of uh, questionable. So, is it possible to kind of um, have their group um, go through the uh, the hotel and do all the hijinks um, sort of on their own, or is it, will there be other people kind of interacting with them? Yeah. Okay. So, with the hijinks rooms. Um, you're in your own groups in each room, yeah, if that makes okay. sense. So yep. they won't be playing with um, strangers or anything like that. They'll just be in their own group. Right, okay. Um, and, and Some of them in the safe rooms. Great, um, and, and just um, some some of the boys, yeah, they they, they um, some of their behaviour is a little bit questionable. There's one boy there that I'm particularly worried about. I do have a okay. care, carer coming with us, but sometimes he kind okay. of he kind of lashes out a little bit, and he, you can sort of see him lo- losing control, and and he, and he might lash out. But he's usually quite a friendly, uh, lovely boy. But just every now and then, he, he kind of he kind of loses it. Um, so, so is yeah. there is is there um, a way to kind of inform your staff about that um give me one moment uh, i'll try to get a manager on the phone for you yeah that'd be great thank um, you so much so that if you'd like to discuss it with them just yeah. one moment that'd maybe. be great thank you i appreciate that yeah hello so i speaking from Oh, hello, Elias. Um, um, look, um, yeah, so it's for my son, and he has a few friends. Um, and so my, my son has a few learning uh, difficulties. He's um, he's on the slower end, um, and so are all of his friends. Um, now, some of them have some strange kind of behaviours. So I was just speaking to the other lady and, and kind of inquiring if um, the staff will be interacting with them and if if that's um, something that's okay. Uh, j- just some of them, some of the behaviour that some of them have, it's just, it's just a little bit uh, confronting sometimes but we will have a carer there with us to make sure that everything yeah. runs smoothly so h- how does that go there yeah yeah um that's that's okay like we'll just you know brief our team um let yeah. them know that like you know we have um like what's what's happening today um but they'll be looked after just like any other guests would okay great um, yeah maybe let them know yeah. in, in particular there's there, there's one of the boys he, he kind of he rips his hair out he's got a tendency to just kind of start ripping his hair out and it's just it's disgusting yeah. to look at and he just really loses control and if he loses one of the games there's a good chance that he really lose control and, and rip large large sums of hair out of his fucking head and it's just really uncomfortable yeah. to witness. So if you could just brief the staff on that, that would be great. Yep. Yeah, and, and just one of the other boys too. He's got quite a large tongue, so it kind of sits out of his mouth. Um, and a lot of people think that he's uh, poking his tongue out, but really he just looks like he's just fucking doing a rude little fucking fat boy when really it's just he can't help it. I understand. Yes. Yeah. So, and it's just that that kind of behaviour. But my son, he's great. Um, most of the boys are okay. They're just a bit quiet. Um, but one of them's a bit grabby. He'll grab, and and uh, he's. I've been walking past him before, and he just he, he shot his hand out, and his hand wrapped around my my arm, and he pulled me in, and then he grabbed my back fat. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, just. I, I just thought I'd call ahead and, and let you guys know um, kind of the, the range of behaviours that uh, will be on display there. But like I said, I'll be with one of the other parents and there will be a carer there. But just one of the yeah. boys, he's just this big, he's this big, tall, white boy and he's just always dirty and he just, he's cross-eyed and he can barely speak and it's just really hard to look at him and he doesn't make any sense. He doesn't make any sense when you talk to him. And it's just kind of frustrating sometimes to be around, you know? Yes, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, their team will do as best as they can. Yeah, um, okay. As long as they, um, I mean, they're not going to be, like, violent towards any guests, are they? Or No, no, so, no, no. So, so that's what the care is there for. And we have uh, means yeah. of kind of controlling them when they, when they kind of spaz out a little bit and, and lose their shit. So, so it should be completely yeah. fine. But I just thought I'd call ahead and, and just make sure that the staff are aware that if we say to the staff, like, um, could you please leave, that they leave kind of immediately just because there's this one boy in particular. He's just, it's, it's just, he, he's so overwhelmingly dumb and he just, he, he opens his mouth and it's nothing but nonsense and dribble and sick. I, okay. Yeah, but so, so what kind of dates do we have um, available here for this? Me sick to think about, and it's it's just my, my available. 
Yeah, next available. Yeah, I've tried to get my son to invite other friends, but he's just really... He spends a lot of time with his boys, and there's nothing much I can do about it, unfortunately. Yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. Is the 24th um, on a Saturday good? Yeah, that would be great. Um, what, what time of the day would there be the least amount of people in there? Yeah. Um, definitely on a weekend. I'll tell you that much. Like Friday, Saturday, Sundays are probably our busiest times of the week. Right, yeah, okay. Um, hmm, yeah, that's a tough one because, um, you know, everyone's available on the Saturday, but obviously I don't want to take this group of boys around in public where they can lash out and spit and one of them, one of them drools. He drools like a fuck and it fucking makes me sick. So the least amount of people, would you say around lunchtime or more than nighttime sessions? <laughs> 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 he took a lot of that. I let him just listen to your rants and be like, okay. <laughs> I wonder if he puts you on loudspeaker towards oh, the end. Fuck me. Oh man. my god, dude. Oh man. And oh. and just to be clear, I don't I don't hate any intellectually disabled people. That's Shut just, up. You're the most Margaret. hated person well, that's, towards fuck, them. Man, Fat that's, dumb. Fat yeah, dumb yeah, boy. I didn't, I didn't say them. I said them. <laughs> oh man. Oh fuck, dude! That was that was good. He handled that well. It was hard, man. It's hard. He handled that very well. Dude, the amount of spit on the phone, you had to wipe it. Yeah. Very professional. <laughs> very that good. guy needs a promotion. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, Elias. I didn't know Elias worked there. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed episode three. Next week, we got our other half of our segments coming. Please let us know what you think of these current segments. And if you want us to fuck any shit off or fucking keep some shit or whatever, fucking don't forget to like, comment, and fucking obliterate that subscribe oh, button, bro. Oh, <laughs> fucking, oh, fucking jump up and with your knees and land on it, bro. Dumb, <laughs> dumb, 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 That's dumb, 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 dumb. We're the best. 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 We're the best.